Welcome to part one of the Wasteland Free walkthrough, my friends, and I'm so hyped to get started on this because it was made by Brian Fargo, who actually um, created the classic Fallout games. It was his brainchild, essentially, back in the day, a long time ago now. But here we are in Wastelands Free, and by God, if you like Fallout, this is just going to scratch that itch I think we've all been waiting for. I've played the first section, already really enjoyed it, and I'm going to take you guys through it, and we're going to do a whole playthrough. In fact, in Exile, the guys who are making this game asked to sponsor this video, and I said, guys, I'll do a whole playthrough. I'm genuinely that keen. In fact, before I forget, they put a link in the description. If you find the game interesting and exciting, check it out from that link in the description below. And I just want to thank you guys so much for for being here and allowing me to do projects like this because it's thanks to you guys that I get to do cool things like this. So thank you so much. But without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. Let's start a new game. I hope we don't come up against this spider robot anytime soon. So first off, we have the difficulty. There are four difficulty types. If you're completely new to this, I recommend trying out Rookie. Um, personally, I'm going to put this on Ranger, which is hard combat difficulty and friendly fire is on. And we're going to see how we go because I want the intensity of this game, to be honest with you. You can also customize the settings as well if you're having difficulty in certain places and you want to change things up as you play. But let's go ahead and put it on standard Ranger difficulty. Every monster was a man first. Fantastic quote. It's been a rough few years for the Desert Rangers. When the world ended, they tried to bring some order to what was left of Arizona. But then, the Cochise AI woke up, and they found themselves in a fight to the death with its robot army. In the end, they had to nuke their own base to kill the damn thing for good. Been hard going ever since. Then, the rangers heard from a fellow calling himself the Patriarch. Said he owned Colorado, but his kids were trying to steal it from him. And if the rangers were to come and put him in their place, he'd give Arizona all the food and supplies it needed to rebuild and survive. Whoa, whoa! Sorry, Major. No way we're getting through that. 10-4, Cody. Advanced team reported an alternate route across a frozen lake. Find it. Copy that. Well, reluctant as the Rangers are to interfere in family squabbles, they weren't really in a position to say no. Our route's around that dam on the far shore. Scouts, check out the ice and lead us across. Yes, ma'am. So the brass sent Ranger Team November across the Rockies. Because the aid he was promising the Rangers wasn't just their best hope. It was their last. Okay, Major. All good. Come ahead. Sure. I'm sure about that test. <laughs> But that's the thing about the Rangers. It doesn't matter how hard it gets or how many of them fall. They keep on fighting. The Rangers never stop fighting. Oh, captivating. 
So you don't actually need to play the old Wasteland games to actually understand the story here. It introduces it off really nicely. But here we are. We have a selection of pre-made characters to choose from here. There are quite a few. However, I'm going to be making my own characters because I want to show you guys the true roleplay game aspects that you know the developers have put a lot of hard work into here the cool thing about these pre-made characters though is if you're not sure about what to do or how to play this sort of game these are pretty balanced characters that you can you know have a decent time with you know they're very playable and also they have unique voice dialogues between the two characters so you're going to get unique banter um, which is quite nice for another playthrough i might do that however now we're going to be customizing characters so as you can see i've already made two characters but just quickly i'm going to go through this with you guys so you understand what the best sort of stuff to look at is because you can actually upload your own portraits of characters and we will be role playing in this game elon musk and myself and if you guys have any funny suggestions on who should join our wasteland free team in tomorrow's video comment them below and if you want to follow along with this video series make sure that you subscribe and press the bell notification icon then youtube will let you know when the next episode's out tomorrow now these are only the first two characters we'll be making for our squad we can make another two after the prologue now before i go over the character build let's take a look at our appearance options so as you can see these are the face options you have some face paint options as well and there's a lot to decide on you can also change the color of your skin you can be green blue any color you like completely white because obviously i never go outside so that would probably suit me quite well and then we have the hair obviously again you can have lots of different hair colors here i've obviously chosen ginger because i'm ginger and just to quickly run through all the hair options with you there are all sorts to choose from including massive supernova punk style females dreadlocks whatever you have. like literally they've got all the hairstyles here which is really cool final fantasy looking hairstyles everything there's so much to choose from i just don't want to spend too long going over all the options but i god i love the punk rocker hairstyles is so cool even the mohawk is amazing but this is more my hairstyles let's stick with that and we of course have a fantastic selection of beards including gentlemanly beards and of course the most ridiculously big beard which is this one i'm going for a little bit tailored compared to that then we have helmet so this isn't your armor but you can actually customize your character's you know gear completely and what like their under armor is and what they actually look like so cowboy hats so on also there's a whole category just for raider gear as well which is really cool to see because some of these raider masks are actually really cool i mean that one kind of looks like a gimp mask to be honest with you but i actually really like this mask and then we have jackets and these are just the standard ranger veteran uh, jackets um obviously to go with the backstory here um but yeah again you're gonna wear armor and this is just your underclothing so don't place too much emphasis on that um, and again with the pants selection as well which, and you can of course change the color of your armor as well if you like to whatever you like i'm actually going with quite a dark sort of black tone and white um, and then physique you can be super small or you can be absolutely gigantic i mean my head is off the screen right now to be honest i'm six foot five so maybe that's actually quite accurate but i kind of just want to be huge I feel like that's more realistic you can also go for like you know <laughs> you can you can be a hobbit if you like i don't know if that has any impact on gameplay to be honest with you but i just kind of want to be a normal um sort of person with this but now let's get into the actual build of our characters so what i suggest you start out with if you're building your own character from scratch is go to the quirk section because the quirks make for the most interesting character builds essentially what they are for example this quirk is called death wish and it means that you cannot wear any armor which is a huge downside but the positive is that you get plus three maximum action points and action points in general so what that means is action points essentially um, dictate how many actions you can have 
in your turn in combat. So how many times you can shoot, how much you can move, everything pretty much. So this is really cool, but at the cost of wearing no armor, that's a huge downside. So we're not going to take that. You might be wondering which ones are the good ones here. Starting out with Serial Killer, this is really good. In fact, I think it got a nerf from the beta version of the game. You try to keep the bloodlust in check, but every time you kill, you just want more. Gain plus free action points for each kill in combat. So every time you get a kill, you get another free action points to shoot something else with, which is really nice. It only happens once per turn though. And the negative is that you get minus one action point permanently. Um, but to be honest, considering this character is going to be built for killing as many things as possible, he if he doesn't get a kill on one turn, it is very surprising most of the time, I would say. So having minus one action point, isn't really an issue for him. Another really good quirk is Point Dexter. This might be the worst period in history to be a physically underdeveloped brainiac, but knowledge will always bring power. Plus one skill point every two level ups. So this is the best way to get tons of skill points and have a character that is just like a jack of all trades and can do everything. However, it's at the cost of minus eight health overall and minus three health gain per level. So you're gonna be a little bit weaker, you know? Mime is also really good if you want to play a sneak character and it's also quite funny because it actually changes your character's appearance into an actual mime. God help you, you're a mime! You are completely silent but you also have the combat sturdiness of an entertainer in grease paint. So this adds plus two seconds to your detection time which is insane. I mean that's like the best stealth character buff in the entire game. However you get minus 10 health overall and 0.5 minus throwing range. It's still, in my opinion, literally the best stealth quirk in the game. By far. The other really good one I like is Medical Marvel. Um, you cannot be revived at all during combat. However, you get plus five health per level. So later on in the game, when you have this, you're going to be an absolute meat sponge for all damage. However, you can't get revived if you actually do die. But ideally, you won't die because you'll be such a tank. So, as I said... This particular character is going with Serial Killer. Uh, his starting weapon is going to be a heavy weapon, which is a heavy machine gun in this case, which allows you to do a lot of damage to your enemies. The other thing you want to go to is identification. Um, and you can have your character's voice change as well. Oh, are we going? Okay. Are you crazy? Damn, shit just got real. And the voice acting in this game is great, as you will experience soon. You want a brawl? Knock yourselves out. New targets incoming. I love ice. Oh. They see us. Uh-oh. They have us at a disadvantage. Oh, man. This is not the best way to begin an engagement. Come and get it, scumbags. You <laughs> so good. We can handle this. Shoot. Spot. I'm going to go for stoic. Get rail. And then for our background of our character, you have a bunch of things to choose from. Again, there are best things here. Bookworm is really good. It gives you an overall plus 5% experience. Some of them are not very good. For example, some just give you plus 1 to barter, which is essentially the same as a single skill point. So it saves you one skill point, but in the long run, I don't think it's very good. I think it's better to get plus 5% experience. Or um, I'm going for Vicious Avenger, which gives us plus 2 penetration. Now that's almost the equivalent of having an extra two points in luck, which my heavy machine gunner doesn't have. So he can actually penetrate through enemy's armor even with his heavy machine gun, which doesn't have good penetration. So really good there. That's why I've gone for it. And I'll go through other builds later, but now let's look at Danny's attributes. So coordination, I'm gonna go for eight. Every two points in coordination will give you an extra action point to spend. It also gives you um, an overall status resistance percentage. So if you get poisoned, uh, on fire, you have a resistance to those effects. It also dictates your overall maximum action points as well. So the more coordination you have, the more actions you get in battle. Uh, luck, now because I'm using a machine gun, um, it fires a lot of rounds. Um, and luck dictates things such as Again, penetration, which is important for getting through enemies' armor value, ignoring their armor. Um, luck and lucky action chance, lucky crit chance, mega crit chance, evade chance, double healing chance, double money chance. So if you're opening uh, loot boxes, uh, containers, and lockpicking things, a lucky character is going to be really good at that for you. But Danny isn't relying on luck to do damage with his heavy weapons. He's relying on awareness. Awareness 
increases our hit chance by a percentage. It also increases our perception, which allows you to detect things on the ground, like landmines. Um, and it also, overall, if you look, it increases our ranged damage bonus by a big percentage. So at rank 4, I get 12% extra range damage, which is huge. Then we have strength. Strength dictates your overall health and the amount of health you gain per level. Um, also the range you can throw things as well, like grenades. So I have 4 strength, which also means I can equip heavy weapons, which Danny is intending to do with rocket launchers and assault rifles. Um, my speed is only 1. I'll explain why it's 1 in a moment, but essentially combat speed means how fast you can move in combat um, and how many action points it costs you to move that far. Also it dictates your evasion, if you can dodge uh, melee or shooting attacks and your initiative as well, so if you get to shoot first or not. Intelligence um, is what governs your critical chance and your critical damage, and also, importantly, your critical heal chance and critical heal bonus. It also gives you one skill point for every two intelligence you have as well. I only have one intelligence because I'm relying on the base damage for my heavy weapons to do, deal damage and nothing else. And I'm not going to be healing on this character or anything like that, so it's not important. Now, charisma is an interesting strike rate we will talk about when we start to play the game. We'll probably experience it at some point. Um, also, your leadership range. So you can have a character who has a high leadership and a high range around him, and he can improve their chances to hit and buff them and so on. So it's good to have a leader, one leader in your party that has a high charisma stat and can do that. But everyone else, it just affects the experience they gain. So if you have a really high charisma stat, it can be really good because you can buff up your characters, level them up, skill them up super fast. Um, having like 30% experience boost is massive. You'll get to the max level before the end of the game easily. I'm leaving mine at 2 however, which is pretty basic. Um, so he gets a little bit of experience, plus 4%, and a plus 2% mission reward bonus. But it's not, he's meant to be for killing things essentially, so it's not that important. Now as for Danny's skills, he has 2 points in big guns as you can see. That's going to increase his chance to hit, and also his flamethrower chance to hit as well. Um, he also has an ability called Move Up which lets you move up faster and get extra action points for movement at the start of the battle round. This is a perk that is extremely useful in the game and it means that we don't we can get away with having a low speed stat because he's going to be sitting still most of the fight anyway at the back just laying down supporting fire. And then we're also going to put a point in mechanics because he's going to be our team mechanic which also increases his damage versus robots vehicles and synths and he has that extra penetration from his background so that's going to give him a huge boon there as well next we have mr musk his quirk is point dexter so he is you know the skill bonus guy of the group essentially so as you can see his attributes are four coordination one luck two awareness three strength two speed four intelligence and five charisma. Now when you level your intelligence, you're going to want to put two, four, six, eight, and so on. Because every two points of intelligence you have, you gain an extra skill point. And that's just at the start of the game. That's not like every time you level up or anything like that. It's just at the start of the game. So now if we go to skills, you'll have a look and you can see that Elon has one point in small arms, he has two in first aid. Because of his high intelligence, he's going to be able to actually crit with his first aids as well, meaning he can heal people in addition to the normal amount. And then finally, he has two in leadership, which means he can give the people around him a percentage increased chance to hit which is very nice once you have a full party with you. Now, as we make more characters as we play the game, I will go over those other skills and how they're going to contribute to the party. But for now, let's begin the game, my friends. Hold them off, team member. Weapons are not shot. But buy me a minute, and I think I can get the weapons online. We are under fire already. Things are looking very bleak after this ambush. This is for Sarge. 
Alright, it's my turn to enter the battle. We have Danny, you can see our little character cards here. I have 9 AP to spend on attacking the enemy. My character also has a buff currently um, because of the leader being nearby, which gives me plus 2% chance to hit. And, oh, attacking. Okay, yes, I know how to attack. Fantastic. And the serial killer buff. On the next kill, I gain another free AP. So, let's go ahead and shoot at this guy because we might get some splash damage and finish off some of these other people here. Oh my! Okay, we've already killed two people. And um, we've gained free action points as well. As you can see, I have enough action points to fire again. So, I think we might actually shoot down some of these guys in the distance. And I'll let my pistol user finish off the closer enemies indeed. So let's shoot at this guy. <laughs> we accidentally killed the person behind him. Alright, now we have our pistol user. I'm going to shoot. Mr. Musk is going to shoot this one in the head. Get Reg Sun. Um, and we are a little bit out of range there. So what can we really do here? I think we can move into range of this other guy. So let's move over here. And we can take this guy out. Nope, we missed it. Oh my god, there's a big robot coming over now. It's going to present a bit of an issue to us. As it lights up the remaining members of our squad. I don't know if Team November can survive this. There's the problem. Hang in there, November. Almost got it. Now, before I shoot with Danny, I'm going to take over Mr. Musk, and we're going to fire a shot into this raider over here to take him out. I can fire one more shot, actually. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, my God. He's alive on one health. I was like, how is he still standing? Uh, if you guys didn't know, by the way, the movement, the blue area, is how far I can move and still shoot. The orange area is how far my character can move. So even though he has only one speed, you can see it's not really been an issue at all at the moment. Uh, and trust me, it won't really later in the game as well, I'm sure. So uh, I'm going to finish off this guy over here, I reckon. Taking him out. I have three action points. Plus another three because of my unique perk. So I can take this guy out as well. Um, and then... Oh, out of ammo. So we need to reload now. Oh, okay. It's just me and Elon left. November, you have targeting control. Okay, we can use this giant gun now. It's time to even the odds. Left click on the vehicle or use tab to select it and then attack Dorsey's war robot to take it out. Okay. It cost 8 AP. Oh my god, it just nukes it. Look at that. Boom. That was beautiful. Over here, you two. Come here. Listen. If you want to live through this, we got to take out the bastards with the rocket launcher up on the dam. Okay. We'll each find our own way up there and catch him front and back. Got it? Understood, Major. Good. And remember, Arizona's depending on us. There's no giving up here. There's no going back. All right, move out. voice out, I think is really good, man. Okay, so you're now controlling a single character. This is useful when setting up before a fight or navigating past landmines and traps. However, while exploring this world, it's generally better to keep your entire squad together. You can quickly select everyone by pressing spacebar or by left-clicking and dragging the cursor box to select your group. Okay, perfect. Healing after combat. Uh, we're not actually too injured, so I think we should be okay. But we can use our quick bar meds to heal ourselves. Let's go ahead and highlight, and you can see there's actually some loot here to go ahead and grab. So, spikes and ammunition and a Polaroid photo. 
Um, and what's nice about this is it's got this cool feature where you can just loot the entire um, area, including a lot of junk, which I guess we can just sell. Muscle tissue. A heap of muscle, tendon, tripe, and organs. The raw material needed for entry-level mad science. Oh, interesting, interesting. Elon will be taking care of that later, I am sure. Let's have a little bit of an exploration around here and see what we can discover. We can, of course, also zoom in and rotate the camera as well, which is very nice. But now let's carry on. Whoa, okay, what's this? The powder burns on this ranger's jacket. They were shot at point blank range. Are you blood? Get the blood! The blood! They seem to be a little bit crazy around here, don't they? In the soul, cleansing blood of <laughs> oh my god, this guy is nuts. Alright, so we can actually perform a sneak attack here without entering this red Under circle, which is his detection spots. radius. So I'm going to get Danny to go ahead and yeet this guy with his machine gun. Even though I missed half those shots, it doesn't even matter. And then, of course, we can go and beat him. And he has $10. I'll take that. Fantastic. Oh! Oh my god, was there someone stuck in there who just died? This ranger's corpse's eyes are wide open. They reflect the fire of the burning trucks. Oh, that's very nice, is it? How about this guy? This ranger is beaten to death, okay. Not looking great for our people, is it? This truck is empty. Looks like the Opiums managed to escape, but you can't tell where they went. I think they kind of litter the, the playing field around us, really. Another corpse. Someone sliced open this ranger's abdomen and removed his intestines. Judging by the expression that is frozen on his dead face, he was alive when it happened. Goodness me, my medical skill is too high. Calm down, Elon Musk. Reservoir trail and dam overlook. All right, let's continue down. How should I know? Maybe you blew her up already. Liar! I want her head. It's gonna be me who bring it to Jared. Where is she? I don't know. I don't know. You're hiding her from me. You're denying me my glory. Get that fucking gun off of me. I don't know. Let's intervene here. Fuck! Your friends are here. Okay, Hotlanders. Drop your guns and she doesn't die. Got it? Okay, so I don't actually have any hard ass or kick ass here, so... Uh... Damn it. I feel like I made a mistake. Hmm. Okay, so we had some options here if we chose some of our speech benefits, which we haven't actually skilled into our characters yet. Um, so we might not be able to save her. Who are you people and why are you attacking us? You ain't heard of the Dorseys? The bringers of the Deluge? Ha! <laughs> You're more ignorant than I thought. Attack. Kill her. Can we do it in time though? Hmm. Let's find out. Bastard! I told you I'd kill her! And you did. Oh dearie me. Okay, well, let's have a look what we can find around here, because it seems like there's some chests. A hostage's key. I wonder what that's a key for, then. Good luck. There's a tape here from Jodie's folks wishing her well on her missions with the rangers. Oh no. Be 
Oh no, oh my god. I feel even worse now. The developers said like there's gonna like they they don't want to necessarily there to be good options and evil options, but they want you to feel the consequence for everything that happens around you. Rad cuts coupon. This coupon reads free haircut at Rad's Cut Barbershop. Let our nuclear powered robo barber give you the ultimate trim for free. Valid for new customers only. Survivors will be charged full price on future visits. Warning. Prolonged exposure to Robo Barber may cause hair loss. <laughs> okay. And we have some ammo there. Oh man, I still feel bad though. Uh, let's go ahead and take that. More money. More loot. What does this say? Looks like the Dorsus haven't been camped here long. They must have known you were coming. That much is clear. Can we loot any of these bodies? No. Okay, let's move onwards then. Blood! Blood for the deluge! Joey! No! <laughs> Don't worry, crap baby. You won't be grieving long. Murders! Sick fucks! Okay then. So we have the opportunity to sneak up on them here. There is an explosive barrel here. Hmm. The question is, is it worth the risk? Alright, let's get Danny in some cover. Up here. And then, where can I put my friend? I think maybe flanking around behind them might be quite effective. Let's see how far we can get with Mr. Elon Musk down here. This is a nice position for us because we can essentially crossfire the enemy. If they take cover here, Danny can shoot them. If they take cover there, Elon can shoot them. So here we go. Let's um, start out combat. I think I'm going to get Danny to get rid of this Dorsey ambusher, which I think is the close combat guy. Let's shoot them now. And we Still breathing. I think, I thought maybe we could get the person behind him as well, but I think they're a little bit out of range. Okay, bending leftover AP. Once you've finished acting with the character, you may have action points AP left over. That's okay. You can put them to good use by opening your quick bar and selecting one of your final actions. Ambush, defend, or prepare. Um, quick, take cover. Taking cover protects you from enemy gunfire and improves your weapon hit chance. There are two types of cover, low and high. High cover provides you with the best protection. Watch out though, cover only protects you from attacks coming from that direction. Okay. And flanking, which is pretty self-explanatory. Um, Alright, so. Danny has three action points left. Um, I can't actually attack anyone because I don't have enough AP. So I'm going to go ahead and I think prepare for the next turn. Elon, on the other hand, um, has a very nice shot on this guy over here. Because um, he's not actually in cover. So let's go ahead and shoot this guy. Oh, your strike meter is full. You charge up your strike meter each time you make a successful attack. Each weapon type has a unique strike. A powerful special attack that can turn the tide of battle. For, now Elon has a really fast critical strike build up. Because he has such a high charisma skill. Um, and also using a pistol which is nice. Now I'm not going to use it yet. I'm actually going to shoot this guy to finish him off. And then I'm actually going to defend myself in cover because Elon doesn't have a lot of health. So we want to try and play safe. Oh, God, he took half his health there. That was not friendly at all. All right, I can probably finish off this Dorsey Hunter. I don't want to trigger the oil tank by accident. That would be very bad for us. So let's take out this person over here. Danny, of course, decimates him. And then I'm going to swap over to Elon. And we're going to... Am I slightly out of range here? I think... I think I am. Yes. Okay. So we're going to have to move up. Maybe if I move up here. Or no. I think moving up here would be better. Um, and then I can use my precision strike on him. So as you guys can see, this is exactly like Vats. 
and the head is going to be the target here i reckon because we get plus 25 percent bonus damage for the headshot but a 50 percent chance to deal 175 percent bonus damage on top which is insane so 100 percent let's go for the head man one hit kill easy and we've saved this hostage as well i took an outflow pipe through to the far side of the dam now it looks like i can get up behind those yahoos on the top and take them unawares let me know when you're in position and we'll... Shit! Incoming fire! Taking cover! Okay, okay. So let's, let's get our squad together um, and move down here now. Um, and just loot the battlefield before we speak to this lady we've just saved. Um, we've got some injury kits, which is nice. Some extra ammo, which we need. Okay, let's see what this lady's doing then. Why didn't you get here sooner? Oh, I got her as soon as I could. Look what they did to Joey. He, he's dead. He is. Well observed. Come on, we have to keep moving. Sorry about your friend, but now we have to save ourselves. We have to keep moving. You're damn right. Gotta get poor Joey back to AC. Joey is, uh, blood and guts, my friend. Our orders are to take the dam. There's no way across the lake. Our only hope is to press forward. I ordered to sit down. I don't care. I'm finding a way back. I can't let Joey be buried here. The ground's too cold. We need you. You can still fight. Get moving or I'll kill you myself. We're leaving without you then. She is like on her rocker at the moment. I don't think I can really do anything for her. Good. We don't need you. Hmm. Do it, Joey. So she's going to stay here and look after Joey, who is 100% uh, dead. Um, so it's not looking good for us so far. This ranger was dragged out of a vehicle, disassembled and left to die. Yeah, I don't think there's much hope for this lady over here. Hmm. It's rather sad, to say the least. Oh, what? No! I'm on fire! Mr. Musk! Oh, God. Thank you. He just almost died there. Luckily, there's a medical crate over here, so let's see what we discover. Some medication for Mr. Musk, ideally. And there's some more over here. Oh, the hostage key opens this. And we have some grenades. Fantastic. Upgrading your gear. You've looted an item upgrade. Click the inventory button on the HUD to equip it. Okay. If I go ahead and give the grenades to Elon... Or actually, no, I should give them to myself because I have explosive abilities. Let's get Elon to heal himself, though. Use item on self. And he's healed himself a decent amount there, considering he is so intelligent. I've just realized we also have armor as well, so um, we might as well put this on. For example, this Ranger General's hat and gives us plus one to all of our attributes. Let's give that to Elon. Oh god, Elon. You look rather ugly, I'm not going to lie. Oh wow, this uh, Polis Ranger badge gives us plus 5% to our experience. Let's give that to Danny. We even have a Old Man Winter Revolver, which um, has some unique abilities. I think this could actually be pre-order content, you know? Um, so, I mean, why wouldn't I equip that? Oh my god, Elon looks like a legend now with that revolver in hand. And we can also give him this submachine gun too. Meanwhile, Danny can have this heavy machine gun. And now we can move on. Hello there. Oh, another gun puppet to my name. You hearing this, Erastus? <laughs> you ought to be here. The deluge of blood has begun. And I'm winning, big brother. Oh, God. Welcome to Colorado. And there are a lot of bodies hanging from this wall, including this one that literally just fell in front of our feet. All right, let's continue onwards then and see what we can discover up here. Another body, in fact. With some extra ammo, which we definitely need. Ooh, enemy detection. Look out, there's a big-ass robot ahead. Luckily, it doesn't see you yet. Stay out of his detection range to go unnoticed. 
you can get the first turn in combat by attacking an enemy before it spotted you. However, we cannot stress enough how badly that robot will screw you up right now. <laughs> well, at least we got a warning from the developers um, as far as that goes. So there seems to be a um, broken valve that we can repair here because um, Danny has a mechanical skill. So I can open this valve. Oh god. Oh, okay. We've completely frozen it. Wow. That was easy. Now can we loot it? Oh my god. Machine turret. Quick slot item. Acid juice and turret chassis. Oh, so you can probably build some more turrets using this equipment. Alright, let's go and get Elon again and um, move over to this computer because I think Elon has some ability at hacking. The computer display reads Aegis Automated Defense Network. Status ready. Nerd stuff. Requirements not yet. Okay, one sec. Let's see. I'm pretty sure Elon had... Um... No, he doesn't have that. Okay. Well, I can disable the defenses. Display reads, defense network disabled. Very good. And there's some corpses here. An entire team of rangers were turned into Swiss cheese. Probably by those gun-tossing mechanical death machines over there. You'd best avoid them entirely. So this is the machine gun turret we have disabled. This ranger was crawling away from his vehicle when he was killed. Someone sliced him open with a knife and let him bleed to death. Can I actually climb up here? I can. Okay, okay. I'm just thinking, can I shoot this thing now and uh, loot it for parts? Let's go ahead and shoot it. Oh my god, so it immediately blows up. And now I can loot it. And we've got some damage sensors. Maybe if I collected enough parts, we will eventually be able to fix that, you know, other turret bit we have in our inventory. You ain't ready for the deluge. I think that's what that says. Okay, there is a lockpick thing over here, which we can't pick. We may be able to just destroy it, though, using our brute strength. If we select the gun and shoot it, there we go. Now we can go inside, check out the armor crate. Scout armor, designed to protect against the most dangerous enemy in Colorado, the Colt. That's very useful indeed. You know, I think I might go ahead and give that to Elon because he's usually at the forefront of these battles. Um, wow, Elon is looking like an absolute legendary ranger right now. My goodness. Oh, hidden objects. Wow, what was that? Some objects in the world are hidden. Each character in your squad has a perception stat that indicates how well they are able to spot hidden items like alarms, traps, or secrets. Oh, disarm mine. Can I just shoot at it then? Does that also work? Maybe I can get Elon to shoot it with his pistol. Can you shoot that, bro? Oh. Rag mine. Okay, I probably should have used a more powerful gun. Boom. Can we still open this weapon crate? Yes, we can. And there is a flame sprayer weapon in here. Including some flame of fuel and a smoke grenade. Okay, that's good. Uh, we can turn on or off this generator. Oh, okay, the gate's open. That's good to know. My god, look, this is where we were all ambushed over here in the distance. Rangers, Prasad here. Took care of the hostiles who jumped me, but, but those bastards are still up there on the dam. I found a spot to hunker down and give you some cover when you get there. But I'm afraid... This will be mostly on you. Good luck. And hurry. Well, that doesn't sound very good at all. Sign up sheet. Sign up for the chicken fight battle royale. Ten teams will enter the lake, but only one will emerge victorious. Sign ups now available for premium club members. Please note, participants will need to sign the wrongful death waiver sheet. Thanks. Rabbit's paw. Critical chance plus three. Oh, oh my god. We need to give that to Elon. All right, let's swap the camera around here and head up this hill. And there's some more loot here. Let's grab that. More ammo. Very good. So hopefully our commanding officer is going to help us out here. 
when we go inside this area. And she actually has a good flanking position, apparently. Right, so let's go inside here. On the other side of the door, you can hear rough voices and laughter and rocket fire. Leave it closed. Is that another? I don't think there's any other way around. So I think we're just going to have to embrace. Here we go. Quite a few enemies here. And that is a rocket launcher. Ah, damn it. Looks like we killed them all. Guess the fun's over. Wait a minute. Maybe not. Howdy, Hotlander. <laughs> oh, as much fun as it is killing folk long distance. I like it best when the deluge of blood happens up close and personal. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. <laughs> the rest is gonna be sorry he stayed home. He loves him some entrails. <laughs> he literally has entrails of somebody around his neck. I'm so glad that they put like the first person sort of conversation and characters like this because you really get the feeling that you're talking to someone that's like uh, I usually don't you don't see that in isometric games so it's, it's really cool to see I really appreciate it tell me who's Restus my big brother he'd have loved to take a piece out of you but that's okay I'll bring him one later you sure about that buddy oh okay we got a leadership option here who the hell are you people Why'd you attack us? The way you go on about him, it sounds like Arrestus is the real leader. So why am I talking to you? You, 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 you ain't talking to me, assholes. I'm talking to you. And I'm <laughs> done talking. The deluge of blood is coming. And I'm its harbinger. Yeah, yeah. And it all begins here, you little prayer dog. What I do to you. Dorsey's gonna do to all of Colorado. So squeal all you want. No one's coming to save me. <laughs> Jump scared me that, goodness me. <laughs> Holy shit, they gonna kill Jared. <laughs> Jared. Never shut up. Heads up, Rangers. More incoming. Alright, as tempting as it is, I don't really want to walk into all these explosive barrels. So maybe for now, let's get um, our friend Mr. Musk over here. Um, and then we can tell him to ambush anyone who comes nearby. Meanwhile, I think we'll move Danny over here in this cover. And then I can shoot down this guy. Oh, he completely whiffed that. Goodness me. That's not good, is it? Oh, what? He shot him through the wall. Okay, I'll take it. Perfect, perfect. Okay. He's still in cover there. I think I can shoot him. Got some good cover himself, though. Can I shoot you? Oh, wow. Did not actually hit him, sadly. Let's try again. Nope. Still can't hit him for some reason. Right, let's just go ahead and uh, save our action points then. Meanwhile, Danny, you can shoot this guy. He's now dead. So we have an extra three action points here. Do I want to try and shoot this guy for all my action points? No, I think I'm going to wait and ambush. Oh god, they have an RPG user. That's not good. Oh! We butchered them. We absolutely butchered them. Just got to take out this guy with the RPG now. We're laughing. I don't want to go near these explosive crates. Um, I don't know. This is going to be a tricky one. I can definitely move up pretty far and maybe get one pot shot or ambush them. I don't know, Elon. Are you up for this? See, I can't really move up and not be shot at. And I have a chance to save the commander here. 
I don't know. I'm tempted just to like sit it out at the moment. Let's put the ambush on here and the uh, ambush here and just see if they come up to us. Or I can. Yes. Lovely. That was close. Okay, level up. We've leveled up. Your rangers have leveled up. Leveling up grants them extra constitution, skill points to spend on upgrading their skills at later levels. They'll also gain additional tribute points, which I think is like from level uh, three or something. To upgrade your skill points, use or... Yeah, all right. We'll do that in a second. But now, let's have a little look around. There's another corpse here. This is another ranger from your convoy. She appears to have survived the ambush only to be beaten, sliced open and shot in the head. Great. All right, let's go and loot these bodies and see what we can find. Um, oh, an RPG. The Mangler and a rocket for it. Well, we might as well take that with us. Especially for Danny. That's going to be perfect, isn't it? There's another container here as well. Uh, loot that. And there's a first aid box just here. I can grab. For another medic kit. I think we actually got back to full health once we leveled up, to be honest with you. Oh, so if we can loot um, the character's body separately. And we have a ranger's star from that. Um, which we'll have a look at in a second. Energy cells. Fantastic. All right then, let's have a look at our equipment quickly. Veterans Ranger Star, plus one hard ass. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So that gives us like a talking point essentially. However, I would rather get the experience right now. What I am gonna do though, is I'm going to put our new rocket launcher onto our character instead of the flamethrower. Oh, we have another unique rocket launcher called the Polar Express, which does between 40 and 60 damage, which is even more. Now, you'll notice as we upgrade our skills, the cost of upgrading them becomes even higher. I do want to upgrade my explosive skills with Danny, so I'm going to do that. So he has level 1 explosive, which means I could now defuse mines if I wanted to. I'm going to also going to upgrade my big guns as well. And maybe we'll actually give Danny some weapon modding capabilities too. I think that could be fairly useful to us. Now with Mr. Elon, I'm going to start investing into some social skills. I think we'll go for kiss ass and barter. And I think we're going to have two points in barter as well. Because I'm assuming I'm going to be able to sell stuff too. Which is always going to be nice. All right, let's go and see what happened with the commander then. First aid one, it's clear to you she's in shock. It's incredible she's, she's still conscious. Nice work finishing off that jerk's crew. Did you find any other survivors? What happened to you? No, it's just us. It doesn't matter. There's enough of us left. This mission is over. No. As long as any of us are alive, we can still complete the mission. No. Gritting her teeth, she fumbles her knapsack. I'm bleeding all over the paperwork. We need to, to head for Colorado Springs. Establish a headquarters at Peterson Air Force Base. Support the Patriarch, no matter what. We have a lot of trust in this person we've never met before, right? We do that, and the Patriarch sends aid to the Arizona Rangers. We don't. And the rangers are fucked. And that brings me to the secret orders. How secret? Who else knows about them? Uh, only me. Uh, got them from got them from General Woodson. When we first heard from the patriarch, General Woodson sent an sent an advanced team to Colorado, led by Angela Death. But they went dark. We have to find them. What do you know about this patriarch? Mm, not much yet. He's the boss of Colorado. He's rich, and he's willing to share food and supplies with Arizona in exchange for a little firepower. So, so we better not mess this up. Hmm. I wonder why he's rich. 
And who is Angela Death? Part of the Ranger squad that took down Base Cochise 20 years ago. Only one who's, who's still alive. Almost died on a mission in California, but, but she found her way home. I can't, can't believe they didn't tell you about her in training. Give me a second. Catch my breath and we can go. Hard ass requirement not met. First aid, this will help. You may feel a little drowsy. Kill her, put her out of her misery. <laughs> no! Alright, do it. Got five experience for that action, by the way. You administer an anesthetic and she sinks back, eyes closing. Oh, uh, warm. A few seconds later, she's gone. On your own. Achievement unlock. Get to the Patriarch. Ah, we can save her. She does have some documents on her person though. Scout armor, expert pipes, scout pants. Very Tomb Raider, like that. Army rifle, assault rifle, and some pants too. Oh, and there's another sneaky chest just down here for us to take as well. And what's this? Is that cat? One second. Perception one. Hiss. As you get close, you see that the cat has a dog tag rather than a collar, which is embossed with the name Tom. Come on, cat. We'll catch you. Animal whisper requirements not met, sadly. I don't want to scare him off. He might be a friendly cat. Meow. Meow. Oh, its name is Major Tomcat. Meow. Oh no, does he need help? We'll catch you. He carefully lines up to jump into your arms and then sits back down. Meow. Oh no, oh, why can I not have him? I want him, what's in here? Can I offer the cat something? Drug stash, brain candy or focus, medical pack. Well, unfortunately, we cannot do anything with Mr. Tomcats. We're just going to have to move on. Hey, Jerry, little brother. How goes that Dale use your blood? You dry gulch them hotlanders yet? Hmm. Erastus! Jared's dead! They killed him! Gunned him down like a dog! What? No! No! If I ever catch who did this, there! Dead! Every last one of them! Dead! You hear me? My brother will be avenged! He is not happy about that at all. Oh goodness me. Oh, some more meds. I'll take those. Who's that? Oh, how are you on fire, Mr. Mask? Not again. So my friends, here we are at the Patriarch, and I believe this is actually a vehicle we can customise according to some of the dev diaries I actually watched, but I'm actually going to end today's video here. Um, I'll link the next episode down below in the description, it will be out tomorrow, and if you guys subscribe and press the bell notification icon, YouTube will let you know as soon as that video is released. And of course, if you want to check out this game, link down below in the description, please go ahead and do so. You can also like the video if you want to help support me too, and just leave a random comment below, because that helps the YouTube algorithm. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day, and goodbye.